When you think of a small town, you think of hating the neighboring town with a passion. Agriculture, community fairs, and being absolutely terrified you'll never make it out. Rural Ontario. Hi, I'm Liam Brown. This is Burford, Ontario. What am I expecting? I'm expecting everyone just to be sitting around waiting for something to happen. Well, there's only one way to find out. The only thing that lies ahead of us is the road ahead of us. I'm here with my crew, Josh Giles, Executive Audiologist, Engineer, and Ancillary Technician Officer, and Eric Biano, Chief Producer of Cinematography and Videography Coordination and Management Operations, otherwise known as Camera Guy and Sound Dude. And Miles Arnett, he couldn't make it because of work, but really, what would he have done? Probably just sit around and complain about the cold and swipe through Tinder. Anyways, we're investigating the quaint town of Burford, Ontario. We're here in Burford, uh, the home of Adam Henrique, number 14. We're here in Burford, Ontario, uh, home of Adam Henrique, number 14, their only claim to fame. You know it's a small town when they have all the Lions Club memberships listed on the uh, chain wheel sign. Well, Burford certainly has small town charm. It's a community that's sort of stuck in the 50s. People actually use the street. They use the benches that are on the street. It's a redneck town. There's a lot of pickup trucks that they don't need, but they, everybody drives a pickup truck. <laughs> um, yeah, there's tire tracks in all the back roads. <laughs> yeah, there's skid marks on <laughs> all the back road. roads. <laughs> right off the bat, there's only one intersection, so it's probably uh, a new concept to these folks. Um, they do have a crosswalk. That's pretty much it. We're here to find out what makes Burford Burford. They say Burford rocks. What makes it rock? Hey. Yeah. No cameras? No for me. Anyone here that might? Oh, working. No. Okay, it's just a small project on like small towns and what makes them unique. I will take some butter tarts though. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Got an oatmeal cookie from the bakery. It's got that small town flavor. Um, tastes very simple, almost like the town. <laughs> what are, uh, if you had to list two or three things that you would do for fun exclusively in Burford, what would it be? Oh, walk, go down to the creek. So according to the locals, um, it's not creek. Crack. It's more of a crack instead of a creek. This ain't no creek. This is a river. Uh, go to the Legion for a beer. Th that's pretty much the. That's pretty much all I can think of around here. We're mainly known for the Burford Townwide Yard Sale. Oh yeah. It's home of Adam Henry. I, guess. I was just gonna say yeah. that. <laughs> Adam Claim Henry. <laughs> yep. It's his hometown. Yeah. I think they live just outside of town. But... Have you met him before? I've met his brother. His brother comes in, but no, I haven't met Adam. No. It's a totally different way of life. It's uh, we don't have traffic jams. We we don't have hassles getting around. We we get where we want to go when we want to go and. Uh, yeah. That was uh, that was Burford. Um, pickup trucks run rampant here. Uh, it's my first time here, probably my last as well. Uh, we toured the entire town in about 15 minutes.
Anything else you want me to say? Yeah. They had a... Uh, they had a burger store called Craven a Burger. <laughs> that was Burford. <laughs> this is Burford. I've been Liam Brown. <laughs>